Hey guys, today I'm going to give you some suggestions for time-saving products. I have a million things to do today. I have no idea how I'm going to get everything done that I need to get done, but I'm going to try. And in the process, um, I'm not going to take you through my entire getting ready with me routine today, but I am going to show you some of the products that I always reach for when I'm in a hurry. So if it's going to save me time, it's going to save you time too. So I'm going to do my makeup and I'm only going to insert the footage from the time-saving products. You'll, you'll see what I mean as we go along. Okay, so all I've applied so far is my EOS lip balm. The next product that I'm going to use, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This is so great because you just spray it on. You don't have to blend it in or use a brush or anything like that. It's so simple and so easy and I love the way it feels on my skin. So this is my face primer now. And I use this very liberally. <laughs> so that is my face primer. And I just kind of wave it to kind of move things along a little bit. All right. So going to continue on with my makeup until I get to the next time-saving product. Okay, so my next time-saving products that I'm going to talk about are the blush and the highlighter that I'm going to use today. They are both from Benefit Cosmetics and they are Benetint, which is just a red tint, and High Beam, which is a pinky... It's like a pinky beige highlighter. And you wouldn't think that these colors would be that practical, but they actually are. I feel like this as a blush, this as a highlighter goes with so many different looks and combinations. And they are so simple, so easy to apply. They will save you a ton of time because, well, let me show you. Let me show you just how simple these are to use. And by the way, um, they also make a pink tint uh, by Benefit. I don't have that one, so I can't show you. And there might even be another color, too. But I just have the red one. These are pretty expensive, but a little bit goes a long way, and one bottle will last you so long. <laughs> okay, so this is all I do. I just go one, two, three just like that that is it it just gives you a flush of color looks totally natural so easy I didn't have that much on the brush that time so that is it and it's, it's just so simple, so easy that such a big time saver. Now, the high beam, same thing with the high beam. It does come in a different shade. This is the shade that I like, and it's not called high beam. There's one called moon beam if you want a gold highlight. Let's see how easy that is. And... And it does give you that nice um, shine. And you can put as much or as little as you want. I just feel like three dots is the perfect amount. And I'm using the same brush. So do your blush first, then your highlight. And uh, if you do it the other way around, you might end up with highlight in the blush area. But it just, it's so natural, so easy, goes with everything. All right, the next time saver we're going to talk about is MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And by the way, I am applying products in between each step that I'm showing you. Everything will be listed in the description box, as always. MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Sometimes you just don't have time to do a fancy eye look. So I just apply some of this to my entire eye area. And this is just going to cancel out redness, veining, discoloration... 
and I'm not going to use any eyeshadow today but I want to clean up that area and sort of neutralize it and I'm going to use my fingers to save even more time but if you don't like using your fingers which you know I totally get that some people just don't like the feeling of makeup on their fingers but if you do use your fingers you're gonna save a lot of time so that's just gonna neutralize the redness clean up the area and give me a nice space now I don't have time to apply eyeshadow today although some people might consider what I just did eyeshadow but I do want to have a little something going on there so that, you know, it isn't just totally plain because if you don't have any eye makeup on, it can make you look a little tired. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an eyeliner with some color. And this is the Maybelline Master Kajal Cream Coal Eyeliner in Navy Night. I don't consider this a navy. I consider it to be a bright cobalt blue. But, you know, whatever, Maybelline, you name the colors and I'll buy it's them. <laughs> and, of course, my computer tells you again what time it is today. So, anyways, this is just really fast. For me, this is the easiest eyeliner in the world to use. It's just so simple. So, I'm going to tight line with this. And I just do two passes to make sure that I get a nice even application. So that's just going to give me a little bit of definition up there. And then because I'm in a rush today, I do not have time to do my usual gel liner. So I'm going to take this right along the lower lash line. Okay, so the next time-saving products that I'm going to use is MAC Burgundy Lip Pencil and MAC Diva Lipstick. And the reason why these are time-saving products is this is a pretty intense color. It's burgundy. And what that's going to do is it's going to tie into the top that I have on today, the blush that I used, and the basic theme behind this makeup is going to be you know red burgundy that's going to be the color that pops out at you however I do have that hint of blue going on with my eyes so you always want to include a secondary color in there that's not going to be the primary color in the look and I like the way blue and burgundy looks together so this is a time-saving technique because it's still gonna look like I did a makeup look even though I'm not, my total amount of products isn't going to be nearly as many as I would usually use when I did a more complicated eye look. So I'm going to put these on off camera because this is a hard color to work with and I'll be right back. So even though burgundy is a difficult color to work with, if you just go, uh, if you go a little bit slower and really concentrate on what you're doing, which is what I just needed to do off camera, it can still come out good and end up saving you time in the end. However, if you do mess up, it's always a good idea to have some cotton buds nearby because if I had messed up while I was doing it, I would just take a cotton bud and just run it right along the edge of wherever I messed up and then just take your lip liner and you can do your lip liner over again just on the edge to just clean up that edge. 
So what I normally do when I apply my lip products, especially with a dark color like this, is I start by lining my lips if I'm in a hurry. If I'm not in a hurry, I'll line my lips, fill them in, then put the lipstick on top, look to see if any edges need to be cleaned up. If they don't, great, just move on from there. If they do, clean it up with a Q-tip, then run the lip liner right on the edge again, just to give you that defined line to make it really look, um, you know, as done as possible. So now I'm all set to go do all the stuff that I got to do today. And uh, I hope you liked my time-saving products video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to list the products in the description box, just like I always do. But I'm going to put an asterisk. Is that how you said? Asterisk. 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 I'm going to put an asterisk next to each product that I feel like is a big time saver in case you want to go um, Google any of those products and check them out. So that's it for today, you guys. Have a great weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.